All right, guys, this is a quick little project. I have this old dilapidated trailer. I actually found this in the bush in the backyard. So uh, it's not mine, but I guess it came with the house, so it is mine now. Uh, the metal is actually not in bad shape. The wood obviously is uh, rotted out and tires and everything is pretty poor. So anyway, I'm not planning on making this roadworthy again. What the plan is, is to turn it into a water station. And it's basically for kind of fire suppression, maybe fire pre prevention. It's not something that's gonna be for like a big grass fire or forest fire, but it'd be for something that, for having around the fire pit, uh, in case just having some water nearby, or for watering plants out in the back field. So I'm gonna strip the plywood off here, put some plywood on it. I have this 55 gallon tub or a tank, and then I plan to use uh, this water pump from Princess Auto. So nothing fancy and uh, it shouldn't be too hard. Hopefully it goes together pretty well. We'll see. I took the ball hitch off the end here. I'm just going to weld up some uh, quarter inch flat plate. Uh, that way I, connect, I can connect it to either the quad or the lawnmower or the truck. And uh, you know this isn't going to be doing any high speed towing or anything like that. So the uh, just a couple plates with a pin will work fine.
All right, so here's the general layout. There's going to be kind of a utility box in the front. The water tank will be just ahead of the axle, and then the uh, water pump on the back. So I'm going to use uh, the cam lock kind of fittings. I'll uh, insert that one straight into the tank. It's just a cheap uh, Princess Auto water pump, and then the flexible outlet hose. But I think that'll work okay. Obviously this trailer is quite a bit bigger than it needs to be. I'm not sure what I'll do with the extra space. Maybe I'll find things to put on it. But um, I think it'll work all right. This wheel jack is the cheapest one I could find. I got it on sale and I think it's fine, but the issue I have is that this reach is too flexible. There's just too much flex in it. So I'm going to cut the jack off and I'm going to think I'm going to just put it on the main body of the trailer where it's a bit more rigid. Okay, so that's it. It's done. The only thing to do still now is fill the motor full of oil and fuel and to put some water in the tank. So the main use for this will be watering trees. I got some trees I want to transplant. So I'm going to use it for that out in the back field and uh, it'll also be kind of on standby when we're having a bonfire or something just as kind of small duty fire suppression.
So that's it. I'm happy with how it turned out. I think it'll work well for its intended purpose. The only thing I might change is changing it over to a standard garden hose. See ya.